Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute, very easy little ladybug or ladybird as we call them in England and Australia. Um, very easy, quite similar to the whale that we did. Good for a beginner project and you're just going to need two colours, red and black. You're going to need some stuffing and uh, that's about it. Now the other thing you're going to need is um, a stitch marker. Now if you don't have a stitch marker you can use a C-clip or an S-clip, whichever kind of clip you have, but that uh, that is needed as well. We're going to start by doing the red top part here and we're going to take a single band. Now I like to wrap it around my loom when I'm showing you how to do the magic ring. If you don't need um, a peg of your loom to help you that's absolutely perfect I just do it so that you can see very clearly what I'm doing but uh, if you're quite comfortable doing it on your hook all the better so three four five and six we're going to need six bands to go through our little loop here push your hook through and slide up your first band one over the other and budge it around. You're doing little slip knots, okay? Again, the second band, you're doing a little slip knot and then you're joining these two slip knots together by just doing that and budging it around. Now I do have a playlist of all the different stitches that I've uh, um, come up with and um, a beginner's guide to Lumigurumi and some tips and tricks that I've thought might be helpful to people who are starting out or even people who uh, have been doing this for a while. So um, have a look at that. It's a playlist on my YouTube channel. It's called uh, Lumigurumi Tips and Tricks and uh, I think you might find something of interest there. All right, let's take our loom away. We don't need that now until we do the black spots really. Budge your bands around so that they are spread evenly around the semi the circle so it's not a semicircle it's a circle and you're going to join them together by pushing your hook through that first stitch if you have a look this is stitch number one two three four five and six should be on our hook one two three four five and six is on our hook push your hook through the first loop and we're going to do what's called an increase where you take a single band pull it through like that one over the other and join together. We're going to put our stitch marker here but then instead of moving to our next stitch, number two here, we're going back through that first stitch and this is our increase. We're doing two single crochets in the same stitch. All right, And this will give us a diameter of 12 stitches instead of our initial six. So I'm on stitch number two here. I've done my first single crochet and here is my second single crochet. Here's stitch number three. We'll do two stitches in here as well. Our first one and our second. Stitch number four. Our first one and our second. Now there's a big trick with getting even stitches when you're doing these you want to try and make sure that you have them nice, nicely halfway. You don't want it to be big on one side and small on the other. You want to make sure that the band is sort of halfway. The other thing, um, you don't want to overstretch the bands. You want to try and not stretch them if possible. So when you're doing this um, you just I have my hook here and my finger but I'm gently pulling it through like that. I saw a video the other day where the lady was doing a magic ring and she had her band and she pulled it through like this and then she pulled it like this and I'm like oh no 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 we don't do a slip knot like that and then she's trying to push it through here like this and she's got all of this great big loop and there's a great big hole here and I was visibly feeling cringing and feeling sick. It was atrocious to see her stretch the bands like that. So again, as I said, let's not stretch the bands. Gently does it, pull it through and just tie your little slip knot. Now I have made a big gap there by 
doing that example for you but that will release and relax down and uh, close up you're going to push your hook through your first loop again your first stitch you can tell that it's the first one because you've got your stitch marker there now we're going to do what's called an increase followed by uh, I'm sorry a single crochet followed by an increase so here's our first band which will be our single crochet we're going to move our stitch marker to indicate that's our first spot followed by a single crochet and um, increase number one and number two followed by a single crochet in the third stitch with an increase in the fourth stitch so that's the pattern that you're going to be doing single crochet increase single crochet increase just for this round okay and a round is going all the way around from the beginning to the end If I'm going too fast for you, pause me, slow me down. I usually tell you exactly what stitches you're going to need as your pattern for the round before we do it. So uh, you can always pause me, mute me, and uh, catch me back up when, when you've done it. We all loom at different speeds. And if I only go as slow as the slowest person, you're all going to be very bored with me and my tutorials are going to be exceptionally long. My increase, my single crochet, and finish on an increase. I'm going to do a single crochet in my first stitch here and I'm going to move my stitch marker because now I'm going to do two single crochets followed by an increase that was my first one here's my second stitch so let's do a second single crochet and now I do an increase and then we do one And two and then we do an increase by the end of this round you should have 24 stitches when you count your singles one two and here's our increase And an increase and then a single single increase single single and finish on an increase so if you want to count your stitches let's do that quickly one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three and number twenty four is on your hook now we're going to do three single crochets. Move your stitch marker. So that was number one, number two, and number three. And now we do an increase. And then count three again. One, 
two, three, and an increase. One, two, three, and an increase. One, two, Three is our increase. Count your three again. One, two, three. And increase one, two, three, and finish on an increase. Now you're going to do four and an increase. So here's number one. Oops, let's get that back. Runaway band. This is number one. Move your stitch marker. Two. Three. Four. You do your increase. one and two in the same stitch and another four one two three whoops let's get that fourth one looped in and we'll do an increase one and two. Let's do four again. One, two, three, four. Increase. And then count four. And your increase. Four again. Followed by an increase. If it helps you to put, you know, four little bands there so you know what you're doing, that uh, is all well and good. And you finish on an increase.
Now let's count the bands. Stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 and 36 was on our hook before I let it go. Now we're going to do three rounds of single crochet only. Okay, so I'm going to have three little bands here to one side, the rest of my bands going to the other side. My first round, I'll take one from this side and I'm going to move my stitch marker and we're going to go around three times. And I will meet you back after you've done your three rounds of single crochet. Round we go. So I have completed my three rounds of single crochet and this should be what yours looks like. Now I have to admit to you there is an edit in the video that you're looking at and um, when I had originally recorded it I had forgotten to do my three rounds of single crochet and happily carried on and then thought oh, it doesn't look right. So what you're going to see when I describe how we're doing the decreasing in black I have not done the three rounds that you need to do which you will have done <laughs> in red and uh, then I will be swapping to one that I have done the black decreases correctly with to continue all right so yours is going to look like this at this point and you will still follow still got the same amount of stitches you're still going to do the same stitches but mine will just look a little bit different on the video it won't look so uh, bowl like it will be a little bit more flat all right now what we're going to do we're going to stop with the red and we're moving to our black bands and our first round is going to be single crochets on this inside loop so if you have a look okay and I'm just going into the second stitch to show you you have this inside loop here inside being that it's closer to the center okay so front loop and then you have a back loop or the outside loop so these two loops we're working on the front loop only or the inside loop okay all you're going to do is single crochet and I'm not doing a fancy join with the colors because I don't think it will really matter too much so all you're doing is just going through that front loop see how the second loop behind it doesn't have a band on it move your stitch marker to that loop and we're going all the way around doing a single crochet just in the front loop the loop that's closest to you facing the inside of your work just on that inside loop and 
Whoops. Oopsie. Okay, so I'm back here. This is my first one here. Or my last one, I'm sorry. Back through that. Now I'm at my first stitch. And I'm going to go through both of them this time, okay? And do a single crochet. And change my stitch marker to that stitch. We're going to go around doing the whole round in single crochet. I'm going to zoom back out just a little bit because otherwise I think we're getting a bit too big for our boots here. So let's go continue around doing a single crochet all the way around. Remember you should have 36 stitches. And then what we're going to do is basically the reverse of what we did to make our circle. We're going to do four single crochets and a decrease. And then the next round will be three single crochets and a decrease. And then two single crochets and a decrease. And at that stage we'll put our, our um, little dots on so that we don't uh, have to go through stuffing and all that sort of rubbish. And then we'll do two single crochets and a decrease, a single crochet and a decrease, and then we'll be able to tie off. And then all we have to do is put the little feelers on the front, or the antenna, whatever you like to call them, and Bob's your uncle. Well, he might not be. He's Izzy's uncle. So we're just doing our single crochet all the way around. My last stitch for this round, starting with a first, my first stitch with a single crochet. So that's number one. I'm going to move my stitch marker, and now I have to count. This is two, three. four and a decrease so go through the first the next stitch and the stitch next to it and you decrease 
Okay, then you're going to count four again. One, two, three, four, and here's our decrease. And count four again. One, two, oopsie, three, four, and a decrease. another four one two three four here's our decrease oops make sure I don't pull it all the way through there we go now count another four. Now this um, ladybug or ladybird has a huge sentimental value. Um, it's dedicated to a girl by the name of Rachel who unfortunately passed away when she was 16 and she's a friend of mine's daughter and uh, she died from um, a medication allergy absolutely horrific um, for any parent to uh, to lose a child my heart goes out to you and uh, so this one is Rachel's she was uh, her mum called her bug and uh, this one's for her so that's my last stitch now I'm back to the beginning I'm going to do my first single crochet that will count as number one and move my stitch marker and now we count three and a decrease all right, so I'm going to get some little bands up here ready. There we go. So that was one, two, three, and here's my decrease. Try not to stretch the bands too much. It's harder with decreases, I know. One. two, three, and a decrease, one, two, three, and here's our decrease. One, two, three. Here's our decrease. One, 
much here. Three. And finish with a decrease. See, so it's starting to, to form its little shape. Now you're going to do two and a decrease. So here's our first stitch. Go through. One and change your stitch marker. Two and a decrease. One two and decrease one two. And a decrease one oopsie two and decrease. Decrease one and finish on a decrease. I'm going to do a single crochet in the next stitch and I'm going to move my stitch marker. That is my first stitch done. Okay, I'm going to put my stitch marker just on one of these little loops here, okay, just to keep it out of the way. Because at this stage, what we need to do now is um, do the little dots for it, okay? So, um, let's get our loom and take a single black band wrap it once and twice now you're going to do this four times I'm going to do it once <laughs> six bands one two three Five and six. Take it off your loom, even the stitches out around that magic ring. Push your hook through the first stitch, single black band, and you're going to do a slip stitch. So take it on so that all of them are on that single band, one over the other and pull tight. Now for the second anchor band I'm going across opposite from it and I'm going to do a work in the front post, okay, a, a stitch in the front post. So go through the first stitch, push your hook back through the second like that, okay, and there's the post here. And I'm going to take a band and pull it through and tie a slip knot like so. And that is how I'm going to anchor my dots. So I need you to do four of these, okay? I'll pause the video. We can catch back up when you've done four. So I've made my four little dots and I've secured three of them. Now we have the fourth one to secure. And all you're going to do is position it on the shell where you think you would like 
the dots to be and you can do as many of these as you want it's completely up to you push your hook through one side grab the anchor band and pull it back and then find another spot for the other side of the band and pull that one through like so turn it inside out you have two loops I've got one here and one here I'm going to put one over the other I'm trying to get the black out of the way so you can see what I'm doing so one over the other and then you're going to secure it up here a little bit you don't want to secure it real close to where they have gone in because otherwise it will form it will be too loose and you'll see it rise up off the shell so just pick a little red band out there somewhere and loop it together and tie a slip knot like so and there you have your little spot secured on the shell now if you feel that you can see this too much tuck it in a bit you can move these around how you like and it might take a you know, couple of attempts to, to get it right so like I think I can see that band a little bit too much so I'm going to keep one side in but I'm going to move that band so that it's a little bit under where the dot is so that it's hidden underneath itself really turn it inside out again one over the other find a little band up here somewhere out of the way and I'm tying off using a red band oh I'm going to attempt to tie off using a red band there we go like that so I think that looks a little better so there's my four little dots on now the other thing this is the the back side here so this is the front and your little um, ladybug is going to have antenna and we're going to just put those here so to make those I took a single band and wrapped it around my hook once twice three times and then you're capping your band you're going to take a single band stretch it figure eight so it's looped on itself and you're going to do six of these so slide that end cap on that was number one two three four Five, try and get it so they're even and this is my last one this is six okay and you need two of them I've already made one okay here's my other one that I already made I'm going to put them together on the same hook like this I'm going to take a single band and I'm going to slide these on like so because they're going to be together okay so I'm going to secure either side of these bands in the middle here so I'm going to go again through from the inside I'm going to approximate where the center is and I'm going to go on the black side of it not the red side so that it's hidden okay so here I'm going in under the black here I'm going to put one edge one loop one side of the loop on here and then I'm going to skip a, a band and come out the other side there and grab the other side of the looped band here on my hook bring it in like this oh, I've, I've captured a red band there as well it doesn't really matter I'm going to put one over the other I'm just going to get rid of that red band so it's not in my way and again I'm going to come down and capture a couple of red bands recapture that tie off band and I'm going to loop them together with a slip knot like so so that is how I did the antenna okay now the other thing that we need to do and you don't have to have them together you can do them separately if you choose to these ones I did one here and one here and I had a bigger gap completely up to you how you want to do it but that is how you would secure them just by going in under here all right next we're going to stuff I use 100% polyfill 
Um, you can use anything else. Um, you can use cotton wool, you can use tissues. Some people are using um, tissue paper, the same colour as their creation. That's a very good idea. Another lady um, undoes her husband's pillow and takes the stuffing out of her husband's pillow and he hasn't noticed yet. Um, he hasn't complained of neck pain. Somebody else cuts... Um, Cuts up her husband's old t-shirts, old shirts. Somebody else uses old stockings. So there's a variety of different things you can use if you don't want to use the polyfill. But the polyfill is particularly light and uh, it's not expensive at all. You pick it up from your local craft shop. And um, it's hypoallergic. Well, this particular one I have is hypoallergic, which is nice. So stuff your little bug, okay. Try not to stuff it too much because if you put too much stuffing in, the stitches will come apart, all right, and, and they will show the colour of the stuffing inside. Now what we're going to do is close up our little bug. So pop your hook back through. Now I tend to, as I do this, I tend to shove my my thumbs down into the stuffing so that I'm getting it out of the way of the particular bands that I'm decreasing. And we're going to start with a, a single crochet, which we already did. So now we go to a decrease. So it's a single crochet and a decrease. Okay, so here's my decrease. Now we do a single crochet. And a decrease. Make sure you just get the stitch in question. A single crochet. And a decrease. And a single crochet and a decrease. I want to try and get the bands even. Uh, see how this one is longer than that one? Try and get them even. A single crochet. And a decrease. Single crochet. And a decrease. I'm getting rid of my stitch marker. I don't really need it now because I know that I'm just doing decreases. And a decrease. And a decrease. Oops, push things down. Try to get my thumb out of the way. Even it up. Decrease. Decrease, and I'm going to just finish with a slip knot here, going through the stitch and my little um, loop on my hook, and pulling tight into a slip knot like so. I'm going to push my hook through the centre here and grab that tie off band and pull it back so that it's hidden inside. Now, at this stage, you can see the stuffing. I've probably 
being a little too generous with my stuffing but I'm going to stuff it back in but I did want him to be rounded at the top you can angle these a little bit you sort of bend them and angle them up like that but there you go there is the little oh ladybug now the other thing you can do is add the black line down here to indicate the wings if you choose to and how I did that I went down to the back side here and all you can do all you need to do you can either do it um, this one I was playing with you can do it like little stitches like this if you choose to or if you take these apart and you can basically tie them in knots so what I did was I uh, will not take them apart you you link them together to make a big sort of stretchy link of them I guess so you link these together if you can <laughs> come here there we go There's three of them Will three be enough? I think three might be enough. So all you're going to do is go to the back here. Try and go through the black stitches because then they're hidden. It's hidden a little more because you're using black bands. You're going to go through once. Pull it through properly. Come on, Kate. There we are. So pull it through. And you're going to put one over the other so you're, you're sort of forming a little knot in itself like that okay and all you do is stretch it now for mine I actually went through I tried to go through a center band here just so that it kept it in place so I went through one little band here and pulled it through like that and then all you need to do stretch this open and pop it over his uh, his antenna you can do it like that or the other way you can do it is go through the loop that you have there's a little hole between the two antenna and go through and I think this way looks a little better pull it through once and then flare it out and pop the two antenna through and I feel that that looks a little better because it doesn't um, it doesn't splay this open as much as the other way so that is how I did the little line for his wings I hope you enjoy take care bye